Hello there. How are you? I hope all is well and everything is absolutely amazing on your end. Welcome back on my channel. You're listening to Light Channelings once again and I am back with a new reading for all of you. There are so many messages and so many updates that I've got for all of you. So without wasting any time, I'd like to start with all of it. Today's reading is talking about the current energy, the current blocks or the challenges that you are either having to face at the moment or this is what was blocking your connection in the past or in the recent past. So what it is that you can expect and what can you do about it? It looks like you are working on yourself or you're working on something maybe you've got a job or you're self-employed you have your own business or it's just that you're successful prosperous and abundant but at the same time deep down in your heart you feel like there is something missing in your life you miss your counterpart you want to fill that void that you feel deep down in your heart without them some of you are feeling stuck in your life because you are unable to move forward in your love life other areas are working well but you are feeling quite stuck in this one specific area which is related with your spiritual soul connection or it's just about your spiritual soul connection but because you do not see any kind of results or outcomes positive ones taking place in your physical real reality you are feeling quite stuck you want to move forward you want to rush into next phase or next chapter of your life or it's just that things have been at a standstill or at a halt for a very long period of time and now you are either feeling extremely disturbed from all of that you feel like something should really happen now so that you can move forward or you know just get unstuck in this connection or bring in some sort of change but you're unable to it's just that you want to see some sort of movement or you want to move forward but because things are either moving at a very slow pace in this connection or not moving at all you are feeling quite stuck just in this one area of your life not in other ones in other ones you're doing quite good and it's looking all beautiful and prosperous but this one thing or just this connection or this counterpart of yours who's not showing anything to you or is just acting weird and indifferent towards you this is something which is making you feel like you are stuck or something should really happen so that you can move forward so this is what is going on in your mind or in your life at the moment this is what's happening with you but on the other side of the fence and on the other end your counterpart is just trying to run away from everything at the moment okay some of you were already married with your counterpart while others were wishing or hoping or were expecting to get commitment from their counterparts but instead of receiving one they saw their counterparts giving it to someone else and walking away or running away from them and the reason was somewhere this person doesn't have or had great people or positive influence in their life patriarchy and toxic masculinity is very very prevalent here in this person's life or in this person's psyche this person may have toxic and negative friends they choose to hang out with a lot more than usual or this person has people in his or her life who do a very good work at dragging this person down into the spiral of negativity again and again 
if that's not the case this person is highly attached with old norms traditions cultural values and beliefs which are imposed upon this person either coming from their family or their friends that is why i said this person doesn't have a very great positive influence in his or her life if this person ran away from you when you asked for commitment or for marriage but gave it to someone else the reason was the difference between your thoughts your beliefs the differences in your backgrounds in your cultures religion caste ethnicity skin color or things of that sort there is someone definitely in this person's life who has fed your counterpart with all sorts of negativity and that was the reason why your counterpart ran away from you either out of the blue or abruptly in the past but at the moment whatever your counterpart did with you is haunting them at the moment this person is struggling like hell this person is unable to move forward in his or her life and that's obvious because this person left you in such a place where you are unable to move forward and are quite stuck in one area of your life which is important for everyone so that's how you've got to pay the karma for that this reading is actually talking about the current challenges and the obstacles or any other blocks that you are either having to face at the moment or this is something you've got to deal with this person may not express any of this to you but this person is just putting up a facade this person has a mask on their face this person keeps or carries a very fake smile on his or her face just to show off that this person is in control is completely unbothered and everything is working well in their life but the truth is everything is in sixes and sevens everything there is not even a single area of this person's life which is working out for him or her or is going well or is looking well not happening definitely not happening this person is under heavy judgment for what they did to you and how they ran away from you how they mistreated you abandoned you rejected you humiliated you insulted you broke your heart and things of all that sort all because this person was trying to please other people or was following old traditions norms cultural belief sets and standards of living and being which were needed to be broken and reestablished that was supposed to happen in your connection but this person instead of doing the right thing chose to do what his or her friends or family members encouraged him or her or taught him or her to do that was the biggest mistake this person made and at this point of time this person is either regretting all of that or is bearing the consequences for doing that sin with you or with your connection okay i do not see this person being with anyone else at the moment they might be they might already be involved with another person for some it's just this fear of commitment fear of committing themselves to someone else or fear of committing to you especially that is haunting this person like anything at the moment okay this person has complete clarity i mean your counterpart that you are the one they need to give commitment to or you are the one who's meant to be their significant other in this lifetime of theirs if they have found this clarity or they have realized that they cannot run away from this connection it is haunting them like anything they are dead scared and are shaking under their boots because they fear facing you they fear 
getting judged by you they fear losing their own self respect they fear having to step out of their comfort zone they fear what it is other people are going to say about them or perceive of them maybe because this person did something drastically deceptive in the past with you or against you which is now weighing heavy on this person's heart and mind and is also causing this person to have a look in the mirror and feel ashamed of themselves this person is unable to handle these changes at the moment there is a reason why i said this person is going through hell of a time at the moment because it's not just one thing that's disturbing this person there are 10 different things that are weighing heavy on this person's mind this person knows very well that they've got to return back to you or in your life this person knows very well that if they do not give you justice and if they do not commit to you they'll continue to suffer like this but the problem is either this person's own arrogance ego and pride is coming in the way or something about the differences you two have is making this person feel like a loser a coward or someone who's going to get attacked or targeted by other people or this person fears that they are going to become a victim of public slander or defamation i feel like someone is really into this person's mind a lot or 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 this is what this person learned or absorbed growing up this person's friends and family members fed your counterpart with all kind of negativity that made him or her focus on what other people are going to say more than focusing on doing what's the right thing to do people pleasing is a real issue here and it's related with allowing accepting or loving other individuals and human beings coming from different backgrounds cultures ethnicities castes languages and things of that sort it's like this person doesn't want to face these changes this person doesn't want to this might not sound very positive but this person is trying to run away from taking responsibility or accountability for what it is they have done as i said ego pride and arrogance and this need to show off that they are superior and they are high in status or they are powerful they are authoritative or they've got all in their control is something which is very very important for this person or there is someone who is either influencing them or you know provoking them negatively to act and behave in this way at this point of time so for that reason though this person is extremely and deeply in pain deep down within their heart but they are showing it off to the world that they've got it all and there is nothing bothering them this person is being very very defensive or is just you know picking up battles which do not need to be picked up at the moment in their own mind if that makes sense to you okay this person is trying to create balance in his or her life okay i'm also picking up another case here i'm also seeing another group of your counterparts who are actually learning to fight and face with their own inner demons as well as those who are in their external world trying to block your connection or were trying to block your connection or just were feeding them with negativity though it's very very difficult for them to show up and do what's the right thing is they are trying and they are working real hard here maybe this person also has 
a group of people who are actually very very negative and who feed this person with all kind of negative suggestions advices or guidance to keep them held back or stuck or operate out of their ego pride and arrogance but this person these group of individuals are actually showing up for themselves and are doing what the right thing to do is which means though they are scared depressed anxious nervous fearful scared and afraid of the changes that may come they are still working on themselves and on to other things as well to give you the justice you need and deserve because they know you are stuck in your life they know very well you are stuck in your life and they know very well that if they do not put their ducks in a row they are going to miss out on the biggest blessing in their life as well as they are going to have to face severe karmic consequences for not acting right and behaving with integrity so there are two groups i'm picking up in this reading this one i'm talking about right now is uh, working hard to give you justice bring balance in your connection or just balance things out in their own life so that they can return back towards you and offer you with what it is that you've always wanted needed expected and deserved from them and that is an offer of marriage commitment relationship or engagement to be done and made official once and for all okay there is one thing similar in both of these uh, cases which is this deep guilt regret remorse and this shame this person has within themselves which they are not going to show up and are also going to act like there is nothing they need to discuss or you know they are not going to talk about the elephant in the room they are going to try to avoid as much as they can talking about the shit they did in the past or how they deceived you cheated on you broke your heart how much they've hurt you and left you out into the cold or ran away from you with no shame at all or showing any dignity they are not going to accept that let me tell you that right now they are not going to accept that they are not going to take any responsibility or accountability for that because this person is extremely scared defensive and guarded at the moment this person has a lot of fears insecurities this person has got self worth issues maybe this person's confidence is shaken up to the core or there is this just something coming up on the surface for this person to deal with let me tell you this person has got issue with the arrogance and ego and pride okay so don't try to trigger that or don't try to hurt this person's ego to get a reaction out of them or make them feel guilty because they are not going to they may either say something extremely nasty to you or they are just going to run away from you once again if you try to bring up the past or you know trigger this person's ego or make them or not make them if you force this person to accept and take responsibility for what it is they have done and how they've hurt you how they've mistreated you how nasty they were towards you they are not going to accept or tolerate or would be able to tolerate or handle those triggers at this point of time this is the current energy that doesn't mean it's going to remain like this forever okay it's because this person doesn't have good friends or helpful people they are not able to handle their own emotions and they are not able to overcome their own arrogance pride and ego but they will they'll receive the help there is someone that's going to enter into this person's life who's going to help this person heal their uh, insecurities or get over their fears doubts apprehensions worries and these issues that are bothering them okay but you've got to give it time because uh, 
at this point of time this person is not in a very good state this person is going through so many things all at once they are unable to you know make everything right all at the same time it's going to take some time on this person's end to clear the way for miracles to happen as well as overcome and pass these challenges obstacles and tests they've got to do and face on their own you've got to give them time because i do not see this person i can't say this for all of you because uh, i'm also picking up that maybe at this point of time this person may not give you the commitment you want or just may try to have a, a casual relationship which i don't think that you're going to accept or even look at because that's not what you want you just want commitment and if you're not getting commitment you're not going to put up with any other kind of offer or nonsense this person is going to bring onto the table for you but at this point of time i'm seeing that this person is having trouble giving you commitment though they know that they've got to commit to you but they are fearful of it and there are many different factors making them feel fearful or blocked from within to give you that commitment okay these are less about the external factors but more about this person's own issues and thinking patterns and the way this person lives things acts and behaves that is blocking them from having a clearer view or perspective on this current situation of yours okay this person is also going through losses and uh, failures and abrupt changes which are making this person's life even more difficult or uh, full of struggle than it was before that is also something which is weighing heavy on this person's mind you're always on your counterpart's mind they struggle with nostalgia at times because they know how much they've hurt you because they know that at some point of time they are going to have to face you because they know that they have hurt you like anything because they know that whatever they are going through at the moment is their own karma but this uh, feeling or this outcome of facing you and accepting you is not something which is easy for this person to digest okay so that is why things are a little shaky at the moment for that reason just allow changes to take place naturally and organically because the universe is saying that you'll have a peaceful outcome and the situation is going to resolve itself the changes that are going to come in this person's life are going to make this person humble if not already let go of your need to control anything or everything know that if your counterpart is someone who is acting and behaving like the individual i talked about in the first group soon they'll be able to tap into the energy of the individual who is operating and vibrating as per the energy of the second group of individuals okay it is what is going to happen but it is going to take some time you've got to trust the process and the universe completely and not feel shaken disturbed or triggered by whatever it is your counterpart is either going through or is projecting onto outwards they may show off as if they do not care about you they may show off as if they are not interested they may show off that everything is working well in their life and they are very happy if they are already married or committed with someone else but the thing is they know very well what it is they have done they know very well that sooner or later they've got to make the changes they are fearing to make at the moment it's a phobia this person has about relationships about commitment about marriages especially if this person had 
a major heartbreak or breakup in the past with a karmic person in their life or it's just that they are either in a very toxic relationship or commitment which is not working out and they don't know if it's going to work out with you or not okay they are fearful they are fearful of taking things forward they are fearful scared and doubtful about uh, taking that next move towards you they are fearful if things are going to work out or not they are fearful if you're going to judge them they are fearful of your reaction of your questions and the answers they may have to give to you they are fearful of lot many things actually and that is why they are guarded and might even be ignoring you at the moment showing off as such they do not care about you or are, or are not interested but the thing is that they know very well what it is they've got to do very well okay so maybe this person has father issues or maybe their father is someone who is not approving of this connection at the moment but it'll all work out in the end okay so don't worry in the end you will have your commitment in the end you'll have your successful marriage in the end you're going to get served with your justice and if you two were already married just know that this person is going to return back to you some of them are already working on that working on their issues on their thinking patterns and any other challenges they've got to deal with it'll all work out okay you'll have your reunion you'll have your success story to tell to other people you'll have your wishes getting fulfilled you have for this connection or were wishing for this connection since a very long period of time it'll all work out in your favor okay so this was your reading i hope you enjoyed listening to me and this brought you a great sense of clarity if so kindly share your thoughts your feedback or any other insights you may want to in the comment section below feel free to hit the like button subscribe the channel for more such content to be readily available for you on a regular basis that's all for now i'll be back again till that time please take care of yourself and your loved ones okay bye bye